everybody, I'm Lisa and behind the camera is Bill. Together we are Belisa. Welcome back to another awesome day, another awesome vlog. It's a Disney day. We are here at Disneyland and we have eight Disneyland secrets to reveal to you today. Let's get started. Number one on the list is the base to the flagpole right here in Town Square. This actually was gifted to Walt prior to the park's opening. One of Disneyland's lead Imagineers named Emile Curry was driving down Wilshire Boulevard in Los Angeles one day when he witnessed a car accident. He got out to make sure everyone was okay and he noticed that this antique ornate base to one of the light posts had completely separated from the light pole because of the accident. He spoke to the city and he actually was able to purchase it for only $5. He gifted it to Walt prior to the park's opening and Walt used it to display here in honor of him at the base of the flagpole. Emile Curie's name is actually still painted today on one of the windows as you walk down Main Street. Inside Disneyana is the Disney Gallery. The Disney Gallery actually was displayed above Pirates of the Caribbean for many, many years until 2009 when they decided that there just wasn't enough room there. They moved the Disney Gallery here inside Disneyana and they closed what was here before that. Before that, this was a Bank of America. It was the Main Street Bank. The vault from the bank is actually still inside. We'll take you inside and show you in just a moment. But what was so cool about it is if you opened a bank account here back then, you could get Disney checks and it was the only place you could get Disney themed checks back then. Additionally, you could get a Disneyland cashier's check that you could take home as a souvenir. Let's head inside. We've made it inside so that we can show you the vault. And while it doesn't have cash in it like it used to when the bank was open, they still do have art on display here for everybody to see. The thing about it is, back in 1955, ATMs did not exist. So people had to have a way to get cash that they could spend within the park. So the bank sat right here on Main Street so that everyone had that opportunity. Let's head to the third item. I'm glad I was able to get in there and show you the flagpole and talk about it because they just got here for the flag retreat. We've made it to item number three on our list, which is Walt's apartment. For those of you that don't know, above the firehouse, Walt Disney had a 500 square foot apartment so that he could stay here on the days that he was going to be working and visiting the park. He kept a lamp up in his window and the lamp was lit every night that he was here. The lamp remained there every year that he was living and here at the park and continues to stay there every day except at Christmas time when the lamp is moved and a small Christmas tree is placed in the window instead. Additionally, inside the fire station is a fire pole. It goes from Walt's apartment down to the fire station and Walt was so excited to get to work every day that this was where he came down the fire pole and quickly headed into Disneyland to get to work right away. However, after a period of time, a zealous guest was able to climb the fire pole and went upstairs and met the Disney family. Because of that, they had to close it off at the top to keep guests from trying to climb up there again. Number four on the list is the partner's statue. It is a statue of Walt Disney and Mickey Mouse. This statue was placed here in 1993 and it is one of five statues throughout the world in Disneyland resorts. This statue has a couple of things about it though that you might not know. First of all, this statue stands six feet five inches tall for Walt Disney's height, which is actually seven inches taller than his actual height. Additionally, Walt is wearing on his finger pointing down Main Street an Irish Claddagh ring. It is a gift that was given to him by his wife Lillian when they visited Ireland. When they visited Ireland, she found this ring which stands for love, loyalty, and friendship and thought it would be a wonderful gift for Walt and from that day on, Walt wore it every day. Additionally, you'll find some initials on his tie. Those initials are STR and they stand for his ranch, Smoke Tree Ranch, 
which is his vacation home in Palm Springs, where he and his family would love to visit. Let's head to the next location. Wow, you can't miss the castle anytime you come to Disneyland because it is so amazing and so beautiful. There is an item on the castle that you may not have noticed and you may not know exactly what it is, and that is item number five on our list. It is a crest that is just above the entrance as you walk through the castle, and it features three lions. This is the Disney Family Crest, and it was added to the castle in 1960. The crest has remained there through all of the refurbishments that have been done to the castle over the years. Number six on the list is Snow White's Grotto. It is positioned along a pathway that runs right next to Sleeping Beauty's castle. All of the little characters that you see behind me in Snow White's Grotto were given to Walt Disney as a gift before Disneyland opened. They were purchased by a friend of his in Italy and gifted to him, and Walt really wanted to use them in the park. However, there was one thing that was really bothering him. The statues were all the same size. So Snow White was exactly the same size as the Seven Dwarfs, which is not true to life. So he made it one of the Disneyland Imagineers' number one job to figure out how to make it appear that Snow White was taller than the dwarves. And in doing so, he put her up high and put her further back so that it would appear that she was taller. Carousel. It is Jingles. Jingles is the lead horse on the carousel, but something amazing happened in 2008. In 2008, this horse was dedicated to Julie Andrews for 50 years of contributions to Disney and Disneyland. Not only did they dedicate this to her, but they made her an ambassador of Disneyland and an honorary cast member. They repainted the saddle to add these symbols, symbols that had to do with her playing Mary Poppins and her 50 years of service. Additionally, there are three hidden Mickeys. One of them is right here. The other one is up here in the front. And the third one is back around the other side of Jingles right here. Let's head to the next one. She's behaving. What you're looking at right now is Cogsworth, the actual clock from the live action film, which is on display up above some seating in the restaurant. And right across from Cogsworth, you can find Lumiere up on a shelf as well. And that was just a view of Mrs. Potts and Chip. They're very hard to see because they're up so high on a shelf right in the middle of the restaurant because obviously they don't want people to be able to touch them or damage them, but it is a really amazing fact. All right, everybody, that will complete our video of eight secrets revealed in Disneyland. 
Hopefully you learned something new and on your next trip to Disneyland you can head in and try to find some of the things that we pointed out for you. Again, I'm Lisa, behind the camera is Bill, and together we are Belisa. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching our video. Bye!